Elizabeth Pierce. I'm historian on the Seaborne Venture. This morning we're here in Port Charcot. We originally got blown out of our first landing at Peterman Island, but we found some refuge here. Behind me is the bay where Jean-Baptiste Charcot, a French explorer, spent the winter of 1904 with his Francaise expedition. When they brought the ship in here, they put a chain across the front to keep out the icebergs, although looking at the icebergs behind us, I don't think a chain really would have been terribly helpful. During the winter, the ship got frozen in. Occasionally, the ice would crunch up against the ship and they had to run for land because they were afraid that the ship would go down like the Endurance eventually would. But the ship survived and they went on to do quite a lot of scientific work here in the Antarctic. Well, good afternoon. My name is Sean Todd. I am a member of the expedition team specializing in marine mammals and whales. And here we are in Paradise Bay and we have really lucked out here. We have five or six whales all around us. That's the blow of one of them right now. And they are feeding all around us in this beautiful crystal calm water and just 
doing what whales do best, feeding on krill. This is just an absolutely extraordinary encounter and we're very, very lucky. Uh, the whales don't mind us being here. They have certainly come to us. We've just been in the area and they are feeding on krill. So once again, Paradise Bay has totally turned out to be just the perfect place to work with whales. <laughs> Hello, this is Eric, one of your expedition team members on Seaborne Venture. And we're here this morning at Nico Harbor, a spectacular location on Anvord Bay. Wildlife everywhere you look, just like the uh, skuas flying right next to us here. We've got penguins, we've spotted whales swimming in Anvord Bay. They're like, they're like, it's 11.45, it's time to go. <laughs> Did Lukey pay you? <laughs> yeah. They know the people left and they're like, hey, this is normally when we get to hang out on the rock. We're here in Nico Harbor, a truly spectacular setting at the foot of a gorgeous tidewater glacier. We've got wildlife everywhere we look, penguins on shore, Lots of other uh, marine birds, whales have been spotted out in Anvord Bay. And of course, all morning we've been looking at nothing but ice, 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 ice caps on top of the mountains, the glacier here, and a lot of floating ice of all shapes and sizes from brash ice up to icebergs out there in the bay.
Well, welcome to Brown Bluff. Here we are on the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula, surrounded by beautiful scenery and thousands and thousands of Adelie and Gentoo penguins. There are mostly chicks along the beach right here and amongst the ice. And as we walk along slowly, so not to disturb them, we hear their calls. We are seeing some feeding chases where the parents are coming back with fish and krill in their bellies to feed their young chicks. The chicks are almost finished fledging. In other words, they're about to leave the colony and head out on their own. So that's why they're down by the water line, getting ready to take their first swim. Still reluctant to do that. Some of the chicks are approaching us closely out of curiosity. We have a five meter rule where we stay at least 15 feet away from them, but they don't know that rule. Hi, I'm Will Wagstaff, one of the Ventures team here on Half Moon Island, home to an awful lot of chinstrap penguins all nesting along the tops here. Um, like many of the colonies this year, struggled a little bit with snow early on, masses of snow when we were here in November, but those that are successful, those that were on the top of the hills and are way in the distance behind us here as well, they've had young, so we're seeing young wandering around. A couple of months old now, they're sort of looking pretty ready to go to sea. Some of them here are going to be on their last few meals before they eventually do go out for their own. But also we've got a lot of molting birds in here. They're the non-breeders, the failed breeders. So they're in these groups in here. And when they come in fresh, they're really fat, uh, looking quite sleek. And then of course they stand here for that three and a half weeks or so. And there you see them getting scruffier and scruffier as the old feathers fall out and the new stuff grows. And as ever, you've got the other birds as well, the skewers patrolling overhead, the snowy sheath bills pottering around, exploring everything. And down on the beaches, there's a few fur seals as well. So a really good mixture of stuff here on Half Moon Island. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Luciano and I've been your expedition leader for this Antarctic voyage on board Sea One Venture. I truly believe we had a stunning trip. Some rough weather that we had to negotiate and came out with different plans that always worked out nicely. Great landings, amazing wildlife, and overall a wonderful and unforgettable experience. Thank you for sailing with us.